drenched in blood. Mine. Others. Could I be infected too? Up ahead. Train station. If I can get out, I can warn them. Yes. Then I can warn everybody. Next stop, Armageddon. The River Sticks. Hades. And all points in between. All aboard. Welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Postal. Classic and uncut on Nuclear Gothic. This one's gonna be done in kind of a rush. I, it's, a, it's late right now, and I don't have a whole lot to say about this level. There's, oh, there's a couple notable things, but first off, the game goes ahead and takes the metaphor right out of it for me, so I don't need to explain it. Obviously, the train ride... Uh, well, if there was a tri train ride, would be a metaphor Don't for a sissy. obviously traveling through the stages of death, uh, dying, the river sticks, Hades. Uh, if you're familiar with the Divine Comedy, um, I actually think in the Dante's Inferno chapter, the river sticks traveling to Hades or Hell is a uh, is mentioned in there. I'm not 100% familiar with it myself. But it involves death essentially taking you on a and boat my ride. Weapon understands me. A boat ride over the river sticks, and that will take you to the doors to hell. The boat ride, however, can be interpreted as a train ride if so. So this is the ride to death. Or it would be if we were actually going on a train, which we aren't. We're just kind of killing everyone before they go on a train. And if there's a metaphor in that, then, well, please point it out because it kind of goes over my over my head here. Oh, right, right, right. I actually think I discovered how to use the homing rockets here uh, after noticing the dude yes. saying different lines when he used them. Yeah, there we go. Now I know what I'm doing. Get him. <laughs> I love when he says get him. <laughs> like they're freaking attack dogs he's firing out of the rocket launcher. Which uh, makes me think of Final Fantasy VIII because Renoa could launch her dog like a rocket launcher. But that's a completely different game, so let's not talk about that. Going, going, gone. Good timing on that line there, dude. Uh, the train station, there wasn't exactly a remake of this game. I mean, this game. This level in Postal 2, but there is a train wreck? In Postal 2, I, I think it's a train wreck. It's actually been a little while since I played Postal 2 since I uh, recorded all of these before. Um, but I remember that you actually have to pass either by or through a train station on your way to the church to go and visit your father in the second game. And... I... I that's obviously a throwback Only my weapon understands me. to Postal 1, obviously, places in Postal 2 have been remade uh, from the first game, and that that is all really cool that they would do that and keep Paradise as consistent as, well, possible. At least just to have some notable areas and events, uh, a la the Trumpeteer Parade. Uh, so that's, that's real nice. Nice attention to detail there. I guess that's... One more reason why uh, Postal 3 wouldn't take place in Paradise. I mean, no need to remake the same town for the third time, right? Fnar, fnar. Oh, man. But in Postal 2, where the train... Oh, yeah, the train. The train is actually full of people, and they all... A lot of them slip right by me. Sissy. I remember this. It's actually been... I think it's actually been about a month since I filmed all of this. Did that hurt? I've really, really taken my sweet time on... Uh, finishing up postal. Don't be a sissy. Holy lord, how many people? Look, they're all alive too. They're just kind of on the ground. Like you. You're the man. Whoa! What have I just done? All of those people. All of those people. They ran out to their death. I take it back. I see the metaphor here. The train wasn't going anywhere. The train has arrived at its final destination. I see now that paradise is hell. This train has stopped. It has traveled over the river Styx, and it has arrived at Hades, to which everyone has met with death. 
the Shake Doom. Shake it up, baby. You know, I'm gonna be 100% honest here, I, 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 I think I said this before, but I did this video a little bit different. Usually I review the footage that I do. This one, I just kinda turned on and went ahead and dub, dubbed over. Oh, this is my absolute favorite weapon in the game, the Napalm Launcher. <laughs> Given that fire is definitely, it is, it is without a doubt an insta-kill weapon in this game. Once any of the enemies are on fire, there's no way that they're recovering from it. There's no way to unset yourself on fire, except to die. Except for the dude. Dude can kind of pat his coat off and he'll be good with it. And oh, I see a bit more fill <laughs> there. I am so good with these grenades, you don't even know. I feel as though the project that I wanted to go through with the postal uh, playthrough has gotten a bit aloof over the time that I've spent with it, and I feel like I maybe haven't been spending a whole lot of time with it, and the inconsistencies have gotten to me. Uh, but it's still kind of a personal project, and I do feel like oh, I'm did that hurt? still doing it the right way, but uh, I feel like I'm just talking about myself now. I should be talking about this game. I didn't come here to ramble on about how I'm failing at doing a game. I'm Definitely not helping my case here, am I? Oh yeah. Only I, my weapon understands me. I said that I would mention barrels. So in Postal, uh, if if you might know if you, if you played it, but there's actually a built-in level editor in the game, and I've never touched it. But a couple of people have made some custom levels, and I think the most famous one is uh, one called Barrel Geddon or something like that. Oh no, Barrel Ocalypse sounds well, more more accurate, and it's pretty much a map that is entirely flushed out by barrels, and you just shoot this one main barrel, and it sets all of them off, and <laughs> kills everyone on the map with minimal effort, and it was, it was fantastic. I don't know if it's still available to download or if you can get any of the uh, available custom maps anymore, but that's that's cool. That's a feature that is seen in a lot of modern games nowadays as a level editor to keep games alive. That's really, really clever for running with scissors to have done back in, what, 97? Holy crap. <laughs> If this game was definitely ahead of this time. I actually heard that this game was one of the most demanding games at the time, and it really shows, but oh, it looks like we're out of time. I have definitely killed everyone here except uh, that dude. Shake it up, baby. And we're gonna cut it off here, you guys. I will see you all for the next episode of Let's Play Postal Classic Uncut on Nuclear Gothic. So until then, Dasvidanya.